Oh, we got the 7 8 dado stack in there. I got about two threads holding that whole stack on there. I got it jacked up about one eighth above the table. Uh, I'll make the, the pass and two passes. That way we get a nice square corner and a really flat surface so that the railing looks like one piece of wood as opposed to three. Successfully rabbit it out. This would be the top of the handrail. So it's gonna sit like this. Did all three separate handrails there. I finished cutting up the side pieces of the handrail. So just like before for the newel posts, we're going to mark all three of these with a line. Line, line, line. Transfer that to the biscuit joint station. We'll biscuit the holes. So what'll happen? This will get assembled in here like that. This one will go like this as best we can. I use some scrap pine to make a filler piece. The filler piece will sit and be glued. So this now becomes one solid unit. If I flip it over, you know, you can imagine that being cut in the miter saw. There's the profile of your railing. This is solid. We'll route out the finger rails there and smooth the top edge and the bottom edge. So that's what that'll look like. Then you can imagine we've got a one inch, I guess it'd be a dado here. Now our spindles can come in and sit in there like that. And then we'll put our spacer pieces, move to the next one, put the next spindle in. So for now, I'll get all these lines transferred on and then I'll just show you quickly uh, the biscuit joining. This is the small railing here, a little short section, I'll just show you the glue up. This comes apart like this, that'll be biscuit jointed. This is the middle piece, this will be the last piece that gets glued in. The spindles will come into here. And then you can see sort of how this comes together. So I'm sure this is deja vu, we've seen it all before. I'm going to get some glue right in this rabbit here. I'll go along the whole distance. So I had to break the bank on more clamps here. I was just clamping too much. You know, these are something I've wanted for a while. I feel like you do better work when you have better quality tools. Especially having clamps like these, there's a lot more you got a lot more flexibility and sort of how you can clamp things up so I'm going to put these to good use for the better part of the rest of my life. Okay, same idea with the long rail, just more clamps. The biscuits that I'm doing here in the, in the railing and in the newel post like uh, video 2 in the series. I think it's it's probably total overkill, like I could have just gotten away with the rabbit itself, but I like to make everything overkill and I want this railing to last and it will never come apart as long as I'm alive. One of the things that we'll do once these are, are made is I can run it through the joiner against this face, uh, get these bottom sides, or get the sides square, and then I can even run that through the thickness planer because I've left it a little bit long. So really the only thing I'm concerned about right now is making sure that gap on the bottom is closed. So we'll let this dry overnight. Uh, I won't show you glue on the other side. Just the exact same thing, flip it over, glue it, and then I will glue glue in the shitty spacer in behind there too. As soon as we do that, this is going to make this a solid piece. And then I'll show you how to connect to the newel posts.